So tell us who you are. I'm Sam Perry. So I use to for Reuters uh, overseas and in the U.S. Wow, and so I bet you had to write a lot. We wrote a lot. We wrote two to 20 stories a day, some days very intensively, some days um, we would be on a plane with a presidential candidate and we would uh, arrive at uh, midnight and have a bag call, meaning our bags have to be outside the door at 3.30 or 4.30 in the morning. Not much sleep. 20 stories a day, little sleep, waking up early, but hanging out with presidential kind of... Well, wannabes at least, and some of them actually get elected. Uh, one of the catches of that was you never knew when you're going to eat or when you're going to what the next stop was going to be. Sometimes it would shift in sort of midair. Um, actually, we ended up eating too much usually in those things. But you'd get off the plane and you'd be so 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 exhausted, and 24 hours later, after having some sleep, you want to get right back on it because the energy level was so amazing. So the adrenaline keeps you going. So absolutely. that is absolutely. I mean, 20 stories a day. That is prolific. For people who do want to write a lot and yes. have this impact, right. what, are, what are a couple of tips you well, can give? Well, one, one thing that comes from that world is, is just get it out. Do that 80. What's the, what's the headline? What's the, 80, what's the most important way to phrase what you want to do that day or what you want to accomplish in your book or whatever? What we would then do, of course, after the 80 characters, we have to follow up within a few minutes of, with a fuller, full sentence that tells you what's going on and follow up with some background. And so all is filling in. But try to start, in, at least in this form of writing, try to start with the big bang. What's the big uh, aha moment that you want to express? Famous story that UPI, which I worked for before that, uh, did on the assassination of, of uh, John F. Kennedy uh, was 350 words. And what our UPI editor said, uh, when you, if you have something of less consequence, think about cutting it a little bit shorter than that. So often our stories were short, but they had to be very, and that one, that story, by the way, won the Pulitzer Prize for that year. And it partly won because he beat his competition. There was one phone in the press car. He grabbed it and he held on to it. And the AP guy said, my turn, my turn. He, said, he kept on to it. So he had the world scoop on that terrible story, but he had the world scoop. That's what we were prepared for was time. One of the examples of, of that you we talked about before was the ability to send short snippets that were you know a little bit like a Twitter uh, tweet now, but it was only 80 characters, and the short snippets were going across the screens of trading desks around the world, and so you would get to the point where you, something would maybe um, be, be incredibly good or incredibly bad for a company, for example, or for the uh, government somewhere. You'd put out that snap, and you could see the whole world reacting in the prices right away, and it was as I said, it was the closest thing to. Uh, worldwide global business-like orgasm because you're just like watching this thing, this piece of information, totally changing the world in 80 characters or fewer. So that's just the impact of writing, right? You, you're like, you're used to this fast-paced life, right? Well, there, there, there is a, a certain benefit to try to get in as many words when you're in a move, uh, an area that, the, the other side of looking at the wire services, which is what AP is still and, and Reuters News is still, is that as opposed to, well, the internet's out there now, we have a better metaphor than a lot of people understand, but what they don't understand is the wire is always open. There's always more room for more information. So uh, having a high quality, <laughs> very factually oriented news service like we were associated with uh, was uh, a real testament. As, as one said of one of the failing news services at one point, always first, sometimes right. That wasn't a great metaphor or a great, a great mantra for having a successful news service. People wanting to get in touch with you, Sam, is there a way that to the, get in touch with you? They or? can look me up on Facebook or uh, LinkedIn, I suppose. Yeah, Samuel Perry, uh, uh, currently of Menlo Park, California. Beautiful. Thank you, Sam. Thank you. Awesome.